What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video we're going to discuss the DNS reflection attack. But in order to do that, we first need to explain what the heck is a DNS, right? So if you want to establish a connection between, uh, let's say, yourself and Google, for example, the first thing you do is ask the question, where is google.com? And the way this works is it sends a UDP packet to the DNS server, whether this is Cloudflare 1111 or Google's 8888 or your local DNS server. What it does is essentially says, okay, what is the IP address of google.com? So it sends the text to google.com because uh, DNS is not really encrypted. So it says, okay, where is that IP address? And the server will reply back with another UDP packet saying, hey, it is whatever, 1.2, dot three dot four okay and then the server the client will establish a connection to that one two three four connection so that's essentially a, a very simple lightweight packet so udp there is no connections right there is no send send ACK, nothing like that so send a we'll send okay google.com where it is yeah and send that but if we looked very closely to these packets how do they look like they have a destination ip address right because they are packets all right and which has the IP address of the DNS in this case, right? Which is D, right? And it also has the destination port, which is 53. That's the port of the DNS, the default port. And the packet has a source IP address, which is A in this case, right? That's my IP address. And it has a source uh, 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 port, which is randomly assigned, let's say 13, okay? And when the DNS server tries to respond, what it does is, okay, I'm, I need to respond to you, and I know you, your IP address A, so it's going to put in the packet A, and this is the port that uh, the A gave me, and then this is me, D53. So this is called an inbound DNS response, right? That looks legit. What is DNS reflection then? All right, so if... A is a bad actor, they can do the following. They say, hey, yo, D, I just want to establish a, a normal DNS query. And here is, I want to ask, what is google.com, please? Tell me. And yeah, uh, yeah, I know you, you're, this is the target IP address. And then this is the, uh, this is the port, obviously, 53. And uh, yeah, this is my source IP address, and my source IP address is actually B, and and uh, my port is eighty. Was like you might say, what can they do this? Yeah, this is called the IP spoofing. This is just spoofing the IP address. So what this client does is okay, this is a DNS, but this is not really me. It's gonna change its IP address to completely different server that I want to bring down. So now the DNS server says, okay, we're well, going to respond to you, right? Who are you? Oh, you're B. All right. Let me send a DNS reply. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the one, two, three, four. That's the IP address of Google, right? And that's the destination is I'm going to B, right? And I'm going to port 80. And the source is from moi, 53. And this server was like, what? I didn't ask any for, for any DNS queries or anything like that. What is going on? So obviously the, that that D, that provide that server, which is a web server they want to bring down, and uh, has no no clue. It might so okay. I appreciate that, but what is what is one two three four? I have no idea what is this for. It was like, so this guy's just gonna drop this packet, but. So that's like, it's like this server's like act like a mirror, like we're replying to another thing. So this is called DNS reflection. We're reflecting the request to another server. And you might say, Hussein, what's wrong with that, right? One UDP inbound request is not that bad, but do this with many, many, many requests, not just for, from this DNS server, do it on Cloudflare and do it on Google, right? And, and do it on other DNS servers, resolve those. Do it multiple times. This way, this poor slob will be DDoSed 
from multiple DNS providers from everywhere. And if you have multiple managed clients, just spin them up and let them all do the same thing. And that's called a DNS reflection attack. So you can easily get uh, bounded by this amount of traffic. And you might say, Hussein, DNS replies are not that big. But with something called DNS amplification, you can actually make in the DNS query, you can ask for more information. Oh, give me this and give me that and give me this option and give me this option, give me an option. So that the, resp the DNS server will reply with a larger and larger packet up to, I believe, 4,000 bytes, which is 4 kilobyte. Do this like 100 million times. This puppy is dead, man. This puppy is dead. That's it, right? So that's how another uh, DNS... Uh, that's another type of attack that can happen on your server. And then this is called DNS reflection. With DNS reflection and amplification, servers can go down. And uh, yeah, you got to be careful with this stuff, guys. And that's why you have to implement some sort of a, a preventative measure, right? Uh, some firewall right here that filters the inbound traffic and looks at it and, is, and protects you from that stuff right some people cannot afford that even monetarily or functionally because if you put a firewall there then you your applications might not work correctly right if you have low level stuff working with the packets that you you might this firewall might block it some people put a a layer seven uh, reverse proxy here right that actually terminates the traffic and makes itself as the final destination clears look at the packet decrypts the traffic yes it, it decrypts that like traffic look at it and then establish a communication with you uh, some people are are okay with this some people are not they don't like uh, other party cloud provider to look at their data but that's Com completely uh, reasonable and understandable. All right, guys. So that's what I was like a quick video discussing DNS reflection. What kind of other attacks should we uh, address next? And just uh, discuss in this channel and check out the other videos in this channel. I don't, I don't just just discuss networking. I discuss pretty much anything related to back engineering. That's my specialty. Sometimes I touch in the uh, networking world like this one, especially when it when it is related to security, right? Uh, which is some sort of uh, things uh, I started to uh, get interested in this channel. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye.